Now, uh, part two, what is the dress code of a woman uh, that she must observe while in the gym in front of other women? So this is a segregated gym that is only for women. And this is a good thing, alhamdulillah. But what is the dress code? The dress code, scholars all agree that a woman should not wear transparent clothes. She should not wear naked clothes or fitting clothes that makes her look like uh, uh, as if she's not wearing anything. And she should not imitate the disbelievers in what she wears. This means that if she wears regular pants or jeans or loose uh, trousers or whatever, trainers, whatever they call them, uh, and a loose t-shirt, this is okay, this is fine. Unfortunately, this is a trend in human nature. Whenever you feel good about yourself, you want to show more flesh. For example, fat women who undergo this bypass stomach surgery or something like that. And within a couple of months or three months, they lose like 30 or 40 pounds and some more. So they are reduced in size drastically. Now these are practicing Muslim women, but as it's human nature, when they feel that they've lost so much weight, they want to show that to the world. So they go to weddings and they go to gatherings, segregated, only women, wearing very tight clothes, which is haram. But they don't pay attention usually to this fact, unfortunately. Likewise, women who go to the gym, if they feel good about their body, they would not cover that. Rather, you would find a woman wearing a sports bra, wearing very tight leggings or whatever they call them, uh, 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 putting something that reveals her curves and body because she's proud of it. Men, on the other hand, are different. You see, bodybuilders usually put on their hoodies and they cover their body and they work out. They don't want to expose it, not now, maybe later on. But unfortunately, this is human nature. These kind of scenes are prohibited for us as Muslims to watch. So a sister must try her level best to choose the times where she does not see these uh, uh, sceneries among women. So if she goes usually in um, a segregated gym for women, if she goes early in the morning, there's nobody there. But if she goes in the afternoon or in the evening, it's fully packed. And this is not permissible for her to attend such places. And Allah Azza wa knows best.